Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Storytime Family. Do you like dinosaurs? Because today we're going to be reading Tyrannosaurus Trip by Julia Donaldson and illustrated by David Roberts. Let's get started. Tyrannosaurus Trip. In a prehistoric river and a prehistoric swamp, lived a herd of duckbill dinosaurs who liked to stand and chomp. And they hooted, up with rivers, and they hooted, up with reeds, and they hooted, up with bellyfuls of juicy water reeds. Now across the rushy river, on a hill, the other side. Lived a mean Tyrannosaurus with his grim and grisly bride, and he shouted, "Up with hunting!" and he shouted, "Up with war!" and he shouted, "Up with bellyfuls of duckbill dinosaur!" But the two Tyrannosauruses, so grisly and mean and grim, couldn't catch the duckbill dinosaurs because they couldn't swim, and they muttered, "Down with water!" and they muttered, "Down with wet!" and they muttered. What a shame that bridges aren't invented yet. Now a little comsock at this, but for short we'll call her Comp. Found a duckbill egg and stole it from the nest beside the swamp, and she swam with it, and ran with it, and murmured, "Clever me!" And won't the baby Comps be thrilled with the duckbill egg for? D. She dropped the egg in terror and went running for her life from the mean Tyrannosaurus and his grim and grisly wife. And the duckbill egg went rolling, and at last it came to rest in, of all unlikely places, the Tyrannosaurus nest. Now the mother T had great big jaws and great enormous legs, but her brain was rather little. And she couldn't count her eggs. And she sang, "Hatch out, my terrors! Watch your scaly little tails and your spiky little tooties and your scary little nails." Out hatched babies one and two, as perfect as could be, but Mother T was horrified by baby number three, and she grumbled, "He looks weedy," and she grumbled, "He looks weak," and she grumbled. What long arms! And look, his mouth is like a beak. He just needs feeding up," said Dad, and gave the babe some meat. The first two gulped and guzzled, but the third refused to eat. And he said, "I'm really sorry." And he said, "I simply can't." And he said, "This meat looks horrible. I'll rather eat a plant." A plant! Yelled Mom in horror. And Dad said, "Get a grip." His sisters found a name for him, Tyrannosaurus Drip, and they shouted, "Up with hunting!" And they shouted, "Up with war!" And they shouted, "Up with bellyfuls of duckbill dinosaur!" Poor Tyrannosaurus Drip tried hard to sing along, but the others yelled, "You silly Drip! You've got the words all wrong!" For he hooted, "Down with hunting!" And he hooted, "Down with war!" And he hooted. Down with bellyfuls of duckbill dinosaur! Drip's sister soon grew big enough to hunt with Dad and Mom, but they turned on Drip and told him, "You're not fierce enough to come." And he cried, "They've gone without me!" And he cried, "I like today!" And he cried, "This doesn't feel like home. I'm going to run away." So he ran off to the river, where he saw a lovely sight. A herd of duckbill dinosaurs, all hooting with delight, and they hooted up with rivers, and they hooted up with reeds, and they hooted up with bellyfuls of juicy water reeds. As he stood there on the bank, a sudden urge took hold of him, and he jumped into the water and discovered he could swim. And the duckbills came to greet him by the rushes' river's edge, and they hooted, "Nice to see you!" and they hooted, "Have some veg." And Drip, 
who was delighted that they hadn't run away, ate bellyfuls of water reeds and played with them all day. And he gazed into the river and he asked them, Who, oh, who is that creature in the water? And they laughed and said, It's you! That night, the lightning crackled and the storm blew down a tree. And it fell across the river and the teas cried out, Yippee! And they shouted, Up with hunting! And they shouted, Up with war! And they shouted, Up with bellyfuls of duckbill dinosaur! Drip sister stepped onto the bridge, but then began to frown. For there in front of them stood Drip, who yelled, Look out! Look down! And they looked into the water, and they each let out a yelp. And one cried, Water monsters! And the other one cried, Help! The mother scolded, nonsense, and she joined them on the tree. Then she looked into the water and exclaimed, Goodness gracious me! The three of them stood trembling, and Dad said, Get a grip! You're all of you as drippy as Tyrannosaurus drip. He strode onto the bridge and scoffed, I bet there's nothing there. Then he looked into the water, and he jumped into the air. What did he say? And how the duckbills hooded when he landed with a crash. And the tree bridge broke, and four Tyrannosauruses went splash! And spluttering and clinging to the branches of the tree, they went whooshing down a waterfall and all the way to sea. And the duckbills hooded happily. They hooded, hip hip hooray for the heroic one and only duckbill drip. The end. And that was Tyrannosaurus Drip. Isn't he an awesome vegan? Tell us if you like the book. Leave us a comment. Give us a like and subscribe. Don't forget to tap on the notification bell for the next story. And if you like this book, tell mommy and daddy to click on the link below. Thank you. And see you again soon. Bye-bye.